guys, good day. Welcome to Grace to News. It's your boy Daki on this one. I want to say big thank you to our fans, subscribers out there for doing what you do and how you do them. From all of us at Ghost TV, we say we love you. And yes, we do appreciate you. The good morning in Lagos and Lagos, Nigeria, by the way. And I want you guys to stay safe, stay calm, and be careful. It's going to be a blessed day. Wake up and get to work. Okay, so today we're on the news. We have Bonaboy on the news. We have Tiwa Savage on the news. Now, Tiwa addressed a set of guys in the country, and then it was very epic because the way she addressed them, Mm, you guys can't wait to hear all of that. Moving on straight to Bonaboy. Now, Bonaboy has been in this for a lot of stuff. Like I always say, first man, first man, first African, first African, first Nigerian, first black. He's always liking to do stuff like that. So whatever it has to do with first, check around there. There's a Bonaboy in the corner. Now, the last time I went from Bonaboy was when Santa Dave sent this one to Bonaboy. And then Bonaboy replied with the fire emoji saying yes. And then fans were like, are we expecting this collab from you guys? Because if this is possible, or if this is going to come true, we can't wait to hear this one that you guys have <clears throat> for us. And then um, recently we saw Offset, Offset also saying that, yes, someone asked him saying, do you have a song with Bonabo? And he said, yes, I have, and he's cooking it up. So we, we're expecting a, a, a collaboration with Bonabo and Santa Dave, and then one with Offset. It's going to be a busy for Bonabo, and then we expect nothing from the best, nothing but the best, because it's Bonabo, the year crooner, the last last crooner, whatever I'll show you about Bonaboy is whatever you jump on the song, trust me, it's always a banger. Now, this time, Bonaboy has broken another record again. Now, what is this record? Bonaboy is the only Nigerian act who, had had, who has had three albums spent more than a week on the UK official chart. Isn't that wonderful? Bonaboy has come through again. Now, he had 12 weeks with African Giant, three weeks with other store, then three weeks with Love Damini, and Love Damini is still growing. So we are really expecting more numbers for Love Damini. And then from Brother Boy, from all of us, we say congratulations and we wish you the very best. To your savage. To our savage has been in news for a lot of stuff after she had this song with you no know, this kind of studio. And then she asked us if she could drop it. And then they are still putting our truth somehow so because they want to drop this one. And we all can't wait for this one to drop. But now, to us was on the show, and then she said something on the show, very epic. And then she, she had like facial description to do this. And uh, by the way, it's cool we know that she's on a water and Gary tour. And then she has been doing good numbers on that tour. And then one of these tours, she said, I used to teach Michael before. I used to say, I used to say, when you see a girl, you can't just, uh, because we don't like one minute men. And I'm like, who is Michael? Like, Michael, where are you? Comfort, come and show yourself. Tiwa said she was teaching you that she doesn't like, oh, girls dinner don't like one minute men. And then this is the video where she did that. And she was like, yeah, I used to teach Michael, eh, we don't, and then she was like, when you see, when you see a girl, you don't just, eh, she did description and she was like, yeah, the whole body thing and the whole soapy thingy. And you're like, yeah. And then because girls don't like one minute men, and she did that on her tour. Tiwa is one person that she's known for epic reactions, funny reactions, and then just to get her crowd attention, she can do or say anything. So for Tiwa, it's not a new thing for us. And we know that this tour at the point was a success for her because the crowd was filled up, jump pack and everything. So for Tiwa, we say for her tour, keep doing us proud, keep doing yourself good. And yes, keep telling one minute men the news. Maybe it's going to help to an extent. Anyways. Okay, moving on to Burner Boy again. Burner Boy. Last time we said for every man boy, he was on this one where he was certified silver. And then, trust me, from all of but that boy is one person that for this, it's actually one of those one in the bag because more are still coming. And then, Bonner Boy again on his tour. I actually called this tour the Summer 2022 tour. And then he has been doing the tour lately, banging everywhere, doing shows. And then, one thing about Bonner Boy is this whatever sound you've heard of his song, on Bonaboy's show on his store, it gives you a different vibe to it. That is kudos to his rehearsals, kudos to his team members. Those guys are very fantastic. But this time, Bonaboy is becomes the first Nigerian to sell out the farm arena in the US. Guess what? That arena is about 21,000 capacity, slightly bigger than the O2 arena. And Bonaboy becomes the first person to sell it out in Atlanta. Isn't that wonderful, Bonaboy? Now, fans react to Bonaboy selling out the 21,000 capacity arena in Atlanta. Now, fans are going wide. Now, mind you, it's good we know that David Doe is actually an, is an Atlantan because, yeah, he claims, or he's Atlanta citizen, yeah, so in the US. So, it's one person that you can make comparison and then he has not sold that, sold that arena out yet. And then, you can trust our fans. With what I just told you, imagine what is going on in your head. Your guess as good as mine because yeah people are saying Bernard boy is doing the most someone is saying Omo 
if Bonaboy announced a concert in Afghanistan, he will sell out. This one is saying, you definitely don't know how filling up arenas work. You only fill up seats. There has to be space at the standing points. Learn. This one is saying, Bonaboy owns Atlanta, not David. Hmm. I just said that. The person is saying, Bonaboy has sold out an Atlanta arena. Love to see the African Giants win. This person is saying, oh, be away the former Atlanta boy, never headline. Talk less of shutting down State Farm Arena. Bonner PH boy, don't do him. Odogu, you bad. Feel it from Bonner. Guys, that's what comes in the ghost news on this one. Like I just said, David is an Atlanta and then Bonner boy has gone there. Now, does that make Bonner boy bigger than David though, or does it make any difference? Guys, share your opinion in the comment section. In the comment section down below and I'll show up with there. Let's play some of them if not all. Thank you very much. We'll catch you guys on the very, very next one.